Dan untuk itu kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan perintah kawalan pergerakan. Hidin Yassin has announced a nationwide lockdown. Ada malumkan 83 kluster COVID-19. Which then will move into phase 2 or 4. Students in Malaysia have experienced more than a year of school closures. The COVID-19 pandemic has interrupted conventional schooling with nationwide school closures. School closures have ceased students' education which has caused a huge life change. Students have also struggled with their online school session. With less provision for their online session, it is hard and a challenging situation among the students by their education or learning. Most students are facing hard times during the pandemic, especially their online school session that when they go, are for some of them giving up schooling to avoid those problems that have ruined their life both physically and mentally. I take it as my personal review. Well, basically what I can say, from this pandemic has changed my vision of thoughts, hence my perspective of view. The way I look out is not as aware as usual. Well, I try to adapt a new atmosphere like we have been made a decision that we were not ready for. Talking about impacts, a lot of students lose their own interest, motivation, and feel burnt out. Dual internet connection is another typical challenge for students to face, especially to those who reside in rural areas, students that do not have internet access. These students have a high risk of being left behind if classes are being conducted online due to school closing. Due to poor internet connection, students can join classes and can receive any information relating to their studies from their teachers and peers. According to the COVID-19 pandemic, many schools were forced to defrost to control the spreading of the virus. The school has attempted to do home-based teaching and learning. However, many students have found these online school sessions or online learnings quite hard and very uncomfortable. Most likely because they do not have friends or teachers to guide them in their online learning. This has caused some students to not understand the syllabus that are being taught online and proceed to see their learning. Most teachers are looking for alternatives to make students more comfortable during online classes by making quizzes, video calling, feature class, and so on. However, most of the activities use internet quota a lot. Some students can't afford expensive internet packages. Therefore, they can participate in such activities. According to my way of thinking, there are students who have trouble understanding certain subjects when studying alone. Meanwhile, some does not have any problem with it. Apart from that, this student does not own any gadgets. This issue will make them miss out on the lessons that are given by the teachers. In the meantime, there are some parents who can't afford to buy the children gadgets for online classes, but it's a disadvantage for parents who can't afford to buy gadgets. We can conclude that most students like to spend more time in their room and hardly interact with outsiders. It is not the correct place to go through for long so nobody was there during their day and team. Lots of students have been struggling with their days. It is a hard journey for them during this COVID-19 pandemic. Even so, some of the students are still consistent and not coughing up to all of the challenges they have been through. There are still hopes, we just need to have adequate needs. <laughs>